Hello guys, what's up and welcome to the new tutorial from the uh, SketchUp Worker Studio. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can create some floor plan rendering in Enscape for SketchUp. So, let's get to work. This is the uh, simple 3D floor plan model in here, which related to one of the projects. So, I want to render the floor plan of it in this view, but I don't know how. So first of all, you need to adjust your camera shot in SketchUp environment. For this reason, I'm going to click on these option here and I can turn on the, uh, for example, views in this place. So I have isometric view, top view and front or other views in here. I prefer to use top view in here. I'm going to a little bit zoom it out with a scroll on my mouse. So I'm going to click on the camera shot and change it from the uh, perspective to the uh, parallel projection. In this case, you can see your plan very simple and easy from the uh, top view. So it's really famous in Photoshop renderings and some type of softwares like that. But now you can use it in an Enscape very simple and easy. After that, you need to click on the uh, paint bucket in here and click on the scenes in this place. So if I click on the plus option in here, my scene will be created for me in here. Scene number one generated for us. Now I'm gonna click on the start Enscape in here. It takes a little bit time and after that Enscape will load for you. So I think now it's over. I can maximize the Enscape in here and this is my floor plan. So, in Enscape environment, we have the perspective view, but in SketchUp, we have the projection. So, for this reason, I'm going to click on the uh, this place called navigation mode, sorry, projection mode, and change it to the orthographic. So, now we have floor plan view in Enscape. I'm going to click on the uh, safe frame in here, for example, with this resolution, 101. And I can change it from the visual setting, output, change it to the full HD, and now I turn on the save frame. If I hold shift and right click and change the time of the day, very simple and easy, I can change it totally something like that. And if I hold control plus U and I, I can change the sun direction, very simple and easy, something like this. It completely depends on you. But we can see the textures and some other colors which related to the objects. So I can click on the uh, visual setting, change it to the uh, polystyrol. And when I change it to the polystyrol, now I have some type of gray shaded design in here. And I can play with the transmission to change the uh, light transmitted through the geometry. I prefer to use white in here and increase the outline as I can to some number about, for example, 60. Exposure can be turned off to the auto exposure. And now we have these type of planning in here. So it's really nice if you want to show your clients how your project goes and how your plans are well. So I'm going to click on the visual setting. I'm going to click on the image bar in here. Auto contrast is good. Lens clear and other options is good, but I can change the uh, image temperature by color temperature. If I decrease it, I can see some type of warm rendering. And if I increase it, I can see some cold rendering. I think 7000 Kelvin is enough. Saturation can be increased to the 104%. Atmosphere not really important, but if I reduce the sun brightness to the zero, I have this type of planning. It can be good, but not in all conditions. So 20% is enough. Shadow sharpness will be decreased to the zero because I need some sh soft shadows. I'm not focusing on shadows. I'm focusing on walls, objects, and layouts. So don't worry about it. In the uh, skybox, we can't change anything because it's not really useful. Only we can increase the density to the uh, 66, for example. Right, 66 and size amount 66. It helps you to fade out all the uh, shadows in your render. So. I think everything is done for me right now. I'm gonna play with the uh, auto exposure, turn it back to the 50. You can see the changes like the Photoshop. You can insert it to the Photoshop by the PNG format. 
and edit it after that. 62% is enough. Now I'm going to render this image. So I'm going to click on the uh, screenshot in here and click on the add desktop and call it floor plan rendering number one. And I'm going to press save. It takes a little bit of time and after that Enscape will generate a high quality render for you. You can change the quality mode to the ultra mode and it helps you to improve your quality. If I click on the floor plan rendering in here, I can see my final detail very simple and easy in this place. So it's very simple and easy. You can see the details very well. You can increase the quality of it in the uh, add up Photoshop or Illustrator or any other softwares. It completely depends on you. And we can see the layouts in here, really simple and easy. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial guys. If this content is useful for you, please share it, like and subscribe our YouTube channel. And you can follow our Instagram page for seeing more renders from real projects, which is done by the SketchUp Arc Studio. This tutorial is completely blank to the SketchUp Arc Studio, edited recorded and published by SketchUp Arc Studio. Thanks for watching, thanks for your support, and goodbye.